Hi, today I'm going to talk about moving averages. Many people ask me what technical tools do I use to analyze charts. My answer is very simple. Basically, I don't use a lot of technical indicators. I only concentrate on three things. They are the chart patterns, the volume, and the trend lines. If there is one technical indicator to use, it would be moving averages. This shows that moving average is very important for any investors or trader. So let's get started. There are various moving averages. The most common ones are the simple moving average and the exponential moving averages. Simple moving average is calculated by averaging the historical prices. For example, a 20-day moving average will be the last 20 days prices add together and divided by 20. A 5-day moving average will be the last 5 days prices add together and divided by 5. Whereas the exponential moving average is calculated by giving more weights or percentage to the most recent data. Hence, the exponential moving average is much closer to the actual price line which may generate more whipsaws or false signals than the simple moving average. There are two main functions of the moving average. The first function is to use the lines for support and resistance. And the second function is to generate the buy and the sell signals. We shall look at the first function now. In general, we can use the 10-day and the 20-day moving average for short-term analysis, 50-day and 100-day for the medium-term, and the 200-day moving average for the long-term analysis. Now, let me show you how we can apply the moving average on this price chart. If I want to know what is my short-term support and resistance for this particular stock, I can apply a 20-day moving average over the price chart. If the price is above the 20-day moving average, we can say that the stock is currently short-term bullish and that the moving average line is the short-term support line for this stock. If the price is below the 20-day moving average, we can then say that this is a short-term bearish and that this line become the short-term resistance line. We can also apply the 50-day moving average for the medium-term analysis and the 200-day moving average for the long-term analysis. Next, we look at the buy and the sell signals. For the buy and the sell signals, we can use the single line, two lines, or the multiple lines of moving averages. In this video lesson, I will focus on the single line and the two lines crossover. And for the multiple line crossovers, I will leave it to my next videos. In this example, we apply the 20-day moving average to generate the short-term buy and the sell signals. On the left-hand side of this chart, we can see that once the price crosses above the 20-day moving average line, that's a buy signal. On the right-hand side of the chart, once the price crosses below the 20-day moving average, that's a sell signal. If you look closer to this chart, you may see that in the middle of the chart, there are some whipsaws or false signals generated. That's because moving average works best in a trending scenario. That is, either you have a clear bullish trend or a clear bearish trend. Moving average doesn't work too well in a horizontal trend. In order to solve this problem, we may throw in another technical indicator to tell us whether the price is trending or not. Here, we apply a momentum indicator known as the ADX, Average Directional Index. Although it may look complicated, I want you to focus on the green line, which is the ADX line. When ADX is above 20, it shows that the underlying stock is trending. It could be bullish or bearish trend, doesn't matter. As long as it is above 20 or more, it means that the stock is gathering momentum. The higher the ADX line goes, the greater is the momentum in a specific direction. So you can see that at the center of this chart, when the stock is in a horizontal trend, the ADX line fell below 20, which showed that the trend was weakening. And you can't apply the moving average here because it will give you false signals. Similarly, with the same principles, you may apply the 50-day moving average to generate the buy and sell signals for the medium-term investors and the 200-day moving average for the long-term investors. Next, we look at how we can use two lines to generate the buy and sell signals. There are two moving average lines here. The red line is the shorter period moving average, in this case the 20 day. And the blue line is the longer period moving average, which is the 50 day moving average. How it works is very simple. If 
the shorter day moving average crosses above the longer day moving average, it shows that the short term is running ahead of the longer term, which is the bullish sign, and that's a buy signal. The opposite is true for the sell signal. For this case, the blue signal is generated when the 20 day moving average crosses above the 50 day moving average, while a sell signal is triggered when the 20 day moving average crosses below the 50 day moving average. You may also use different time frames of moving average lines depending on whether you are a short term, a medium term, or a long term investor. Next, we look at the rules of the moving average. The first rule is confirmation. When you apply the single line or the two lines crossovers, you don't add immediately when you see the crosses. You need a confirmation. Besides a momentum indicator like the ADX line, you may also use the 3% rule. A price move of more than 3% in a certain direction can act as a confirmation. Rule number two, always remember to draw trend lines. Moving averages works very well with trend lines. Rule number three, the longer the time span of the moving average, the more significant is the crossover. What it means is that comparing two pairs of crossovers, on one side is a 10-day, 20-day moving average crossovers, on the other side is a 50-day, 200-day crossovers. Which crossover is more significant? The longer day crossover has more meaning than the shorter days crossovers. This is because there are a lot of shorter days crossovers, but once you see a longer day crossover like the 50 and the 200 days, it means that the long-term outlook of the underlying security has changed. It could be the beginning of the long-term uptrend or the beginning of a long-term downtrend. Rule number four, the direction of the moving average line will reinforce the trend. What it means here is that not only do we need to see how the moving average line crosses above or below the price line, we must also observe how the moving average line moves. Is the line moving horizontally or has it just turned down? If it has started to turn down, it means that the price of a particular stock is experiencing bearish trend. If it is moving horizontally, it may mean that the underlying stock is lacking a clear direction. In summary, moving average is useful as it can give you an idea what is the support and resistance of a security, whether it is experiencing bullish or bearish trend. You may also apply moving average to generate the buy and sell signals. However, the major drawbacks of the moving average is that it doesn't work too well in a horizontal trend. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video lesson.